Welcome back, brawlers. As promised, it's Bakabrad96 here with the review of Pyrus Hexados. Now, in my last video, I did a uh, review Darkest Dynamo right there. So if you would like to check that out, it will be linked in the description down below, as well as a link to the Discord server if you would like to join. Uh, it's a good place to have virtual legacy brawls and talk about Bakugan, as well as other stuff on the channel. But with that being said, speaking of the channel, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and click that red button. It helps out a lot, and I am trying to hit 2k this year, so I need everyone's help to do it. But with that plug out of the way, it's time to get into some Bakugan and Legacy at that. Uh, so just like last time, I did go ahead and kind of keep the packaging. Uh, I doubt I'll keep this around aside from maybe the Bakugan logo I'll cut out. Uh, but I did just cut around the plastic at the bottom uh, because I did want to save the good inside bits. But before I, I take a look at that, though, let's go ahead and get into the cards. Start off with something nice and just, you know, less boring. Uh, so, yeah, here is the Hexados. And again, uh, the uh, seller I'm getting these from off of eBay must have just cases of International Bakugan, which is really cool. Uh, he does have a few more that I might end up picking up. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but uh, yeah. So starting off, here is Hexados. Play after your opponent plays a Bakugan trap into a battle where you have a Hexados trap. Okay, so you have to play Hexados, and then your opponent has to play one, and then you can whip out the ability. Uh, let's see what it does. So, change the attribute of your opponent's Bakugan back to what it was at the start of the battle. Okay, that's neat. Uh, and then your Bakugan gets plus 50 G power. So just a uh, little extra sprinkle right there to make sure you win. That's pretty cool. I like that. And again, the artwork. Hexados looks so cool. Kind of like a uh, cybernetic weird snake type creature. Uh, definitely one of my favorite traps alongside Dynamo. Really happy to finally have this guy in the collection. Really cool. That was one thing I really liked about uh, the reboot uh, that started off in 2019. Uh, of course, I'm talking about the third year, Geogon Rising, uh, because we got Geogon, and that was like getting Trap back, but they were a little different. You know, they were more involved in the TCG, so you had a little different mechanic there, but still the same concept, and I really did like it, because uh, Traps are just cool, and in my opinion. Uh, but on to the gate card. So again, international, and this does look like a gold one. Uh, so that is really cool. We have the name. It is Washback. And the effect. So at the start of the battle, the player with the fewest gate cards in their used pile moves one ability card from their used pile to their unused pile. So interesting. Pretty much if you're losing, because if you have the fewest gates won, uh, you get an ability card that you've already used back. So that is really nice. That is some recursion. This is a great card for Aquas teams, you know, having the uh, attribute bonus being the most. Not bad for Chaos either. You know, that's just a really powerful effect. You do have to be losing, which is kind of weird. I don't know if you want to put yourself in that kind of game state. Uh, but aside, it is definitely a good comeback card. So rundown of the attribute bonuses really quick. 50 to Pyrus, 250 to Aquas, 100 to Subterra, 200 to Chaos, 80 to Darkus, and then the Ventus is the highlighted bonus with 150. So not bad at all, and I do believe that is Elico on the artwork. I'm not sure which evolution of Elico, but uh, I am almost 99.9% .9 certain uh, that that is Elico. So makes sense. Then the name, the attribute bonus is definitely an Aquas gate card. Kind of weird you didn't include that with a Pyrus trap, but you know it is what it is. Speaking of Pyrus Trap, though, check out this little uh, box insert. It is definitely cool. You know, it's not really the uh, the monster form of Hexdos. It's more like the uh, the trap version, I guess, as it's coming, like, releasing or opening. Much like how Dynamos is that same way. I kind of like how uh, Spin Master chose to do that for the Legacy series. But yeah, Hexdos has some serious uh, Hydra vibes. 
And it does have a twin trap too. I think it's Legionoid. I will be getting one of those very soon, and I can't wait to have the uh, the twin Hydra traps. And then there is the name insert. You know, the same thing as with the Dynamo. I doubt I'll do anything with them, but it would be cool to like just clip and like collect. Maybe put in the cases and binders just as little neat mementos. But yeah, so here is the Pyrus Hexados. Um, right now it is all closed up. It is like a uh, cylinder, if you will. But really nice outside. You know, you do have some silver accents. There, of course, is the Pyrus symbol. And then the uh, coppery bronze in choice places around the uh, the middle. Time to open it up. This is uh, my first time opening it, right? So I haven't already taken a look at it already. Wow, that is a lot of uh, attributes you can change into. So it looks like you have the choice of Ventus, Darkus, two Subterras, and then two Aquas. So that's not bad because you're already on Pyrus, so that gives you four options. So the only thing you can't change into is Chaos. Jeez, this is almost a perfect uh, trap because it can almost get you to every attribute. The only one that you won't be able to hit is Chaos. That, that's a shame. It would have been really cool to see a uh, Chaos symbol on here, but that's okay. So either Aquas, Subterra, Darkus, or Ventus. Not bad. Then you can all see the uh, little spring-loaded heads. And then Hexados does have manual heads on the, uh, the sides. They are spring-loaded, but they do fold out. And then there's a the little horn right there and I think the other head has the same or maybe it just has one horn okay it doesn't have a horn at all but yeah and the front heads are so weird try to get a zoom in there we go there's like one singular eye there same for this side it's funny looking and there's the other heads which this one's kind of stuck down. Oh, it doesn't have a strong spring. Oh, that's sad. I'll have to see what's up with that later on after the video. But yeah, other than that, little little uh, little wobbly head again. This is straight out of box, so it is brand new. Um, brand new, whatever that means with a little little janky head here but still I guess it's just one bad spring after uh, quite a few years now just sitting in a packaging in a package purgatory but now it's finally reviewed might use it on a team I'm not a hundred percent sure you know obviously I'm going with Brontes and Dynamo but this is an awesome Pyrus trap all right, so let's take a look at how you close this guy with my hands. I just don't want to break it. So I'm going to fold the head down. I guess it kind of locks in. Uh, these one heads are spring-loaded, so you do kind of have to apply a little pressure. Uh, it might feel like you're breaking it, but I don't think you are. It's just they do have to kind of like curve in. Yeah, there we go. You'll feel it, but when they go in, they just curve right in and then they kind of stop. So then the spring doesn't pop them out. Uh, and then the other heads just push in, and I guess you just roll it around. I don't think there's a certain way you have to go. It doesn't look like it. No, so there doesn't, you can just close in those sides how you see. But there we go. That is Pyrus Hexados. Really cool uh, Bakugan trap. Really neat design. I really like it. It's a uh, partner to Vulcan, I believe. So uh, Gus's Bakugan. Wonder if I can find a Pyrus Primo Vulcan to uh, pair with it. Maybe have a, a set just for a nostalgia's sake. Would be pretty cool. As for the cards, you know, I have to say this Hexados probably better than the Dynamo one. Uh, one thing I noticed is this is actually a red ability card and not a green one like Dynamo is. Uh, and you can have two support pieces per team. So with your two trap. Literally two of your ability cards could be these uh, two for the traps. I don't know how good that is. 
uh, but I noticed that is a possibility. I don't know if that comes up often, but at least in my case, the Darkest Dynamo is green and this Pyrus Hexados is a red ability. But that'll do for the review video. Thank you for uh, tuning in, everyone. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been really cool taking a look at all of these Legacy Bakugan. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find anything G3 or new. Uh, hopefully that'll change, but until then, I will be taking a look at these awesome Legacy Bakugan. But until next time, stay safe, drum up, and I'm not throwing the bread. But I will see everyone in the next video.